Hey everyone, and welcome back to day eight of our daily video series leading up to the Kent Test 2022. Today, we're going to take a look at a verbal reasoning question that involves alphabet codes again. This technique today is going to be very similar to one that I covered a few days ago, but the layout is different. So I thought it'd be useful for us to go over this again and make sure your children know exactly what to do if this pops up on the real thing. So let's take a look. We're given an alphabet at the top. We are giving the alphabet for a reason. We need to use it. It's going to help us solve these questions. So make sure your children are in the habit of using that alphabet to solve these questions. What does the actual question say then? EB is to BF as GH is to what? Now guys, you might be thinking you already know what to do. And if you look at the pink box, the first point is to look at the first letter. We're going to isolate them just like we did last time. So here we have E. So EB is to BF. So that E changed to a B. So let's just stop there for a second and not get too bogged down by the other letters. Let's find out how on earth this E went to a B. So we go to our alphabet at the top and we count backwards. One, two, three. So the first letter had a minus three jump. So we've calculated that now. We know what the first letter does. We could jump straight in and calculate the first letter. All I'm going to do is find the second code first instead. So we've got the first code is minus three. The second code for the second letter is B to F. So we go back to the top of B. I'm gonna to go to the top now, just so I'm separating this out a bit so it's clearer. And I'm gonna jump from B to F. So B to F is one, two, three, four, forward. So we had minus three for the first letter. The second letter is plus four. It's as simple as that. Now we've got our code we can solve for the answer. So GH, the first letter, we check over here, it was minus three. So we go to G, which is here, and we go one, two, three, goes to D. So our first letter is D. We can get rid of B, we can get rid of C, we can get rid of D here. Now the second letter, uh, we did B to F, which we found was plus four. So our second letter here is H. We're gonna go to H and we're gonna do one, two, three, four. The second letter is L. It's one of the options. The answer is A. Now guys, just before I carry on, another quick reminder that we do have spaces available in our year five Kent test groups. So if your child is not sitting the Kent test in a couple of weeks, but is in fact sitting this Kent test in 2023, do get in touch and we'll see what we can do in terms of offering you up a space in one of our tutoring groups. Okay, so hopefully now we're finding this a bit more straightforward. We're building on from something we learned a few days ago and we're going to solve this one really quickly together. So first letter, Q to W. Let's find Q up here. We're going to go to W. Wow, that's a big jump. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now this time I'm going to work out the letter straight away. Why not? It doesn't matter. So we've got a plus six jump for our first letter. So our G is going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, which is an M. So our first letter is an M. I always like to use deduction, guys. Going to get rid of answers, it can't be. So we're down to two already. If we were struggling for time in the test and we had five seconds left, at least now we have a one in two chance of guessing the right answer. And now the second letter is M to F. So we're gonna find M and we're gonna jump to F. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, minus seven for the second letter. So our second letter here is H. We're gonna to go to H and we're gonna to go to minus seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, just seven, A. Now, it wouldn't have mattered if we had to carry on counting. I'm gonna show you that in the next question. But luckily for us, it stopped there. The answer is A, and look how quickly we've solved that one. Find the jump, isolate each letter, solve for the answer. Okay, guys, now I was just hinting at this one, wasn't I? I was just talking about how we can go through A and we can go back through Z. Remember a few days ago, I talked about how the alphabet, you can think of it like a circle. So once we're counting at X and we count to Y and we count to Z, if we had to jump forward again, we can reset and go back to A. This is going to be important for this question. Let's take a look. So the first letter, A to B. Oh, well, that's easy. A to B, we're going to have one jump. Okay, cool. This seems easy so far. So let's go to our one here. Z. Aha. Here it is. We're at Z already and we want to do a jump of plus one. Now we're going to treat the alphabet like a circle. So if we go to Z, we want to go on one more. We're going to restart at the front. So we're going to go actually all the way back and we're going to select A as our first letter. So the first letter is A. Use deduction. Look at that, guys. I'm back down to two already. Let's look at the next letter here. B is to D. 
So B here, one, two to D. So the second one is plus two. I'm at X, will I have to go through? No, look, X plus one plus two is Z. The answer is A, Z, simple. So you know what this means. We've gone through some examples. You've got the technique down to a T. You and your children can take a look at this question together and see if they can use our techniques to solve and get an answer. Guys, if you find these videos useful, do leave us a like, it really helps. Do leave a comment down below if you've got an answer and do share them with anyone who you think it might help in their preparation for the 2022 Kent test. Have a go and we'll see you tomorrow for another video.